What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Obviously off the bat you should not be watching this video if you do not want any spoilers. This is not a spoiler safe zone or spoiler free zone free zone for this video we're going to be diving into the fates of michael myers and laurie strode and i guess Corey cunningham more, more specifically michael and laurie so in halloween ends a lot of the rumors that you might have been seeing online they were indeed confirmed to be true you have a character named Corey cunningham who yes indeed does become a copycat michael myers in a way uh ultimately what ends up happening as we know and as we saw basically described in the description for the movie Corey cunningham played by rohan campbell is pushed to the brink of snapping and becoming evil by the simple fact that the town won't let him move on from this accident he's bullied by some local high schoolers for a chunk of the movie uh people in town just talk negatively about him and call him a, ba a, a kid killer and he has to live with all of this knowing in his heart that that's not who he is and that he genuinely just did something that was an unfortunate accident uh and in a lot of ways you do feel for the kid but then of course he starts to snap and you're no longer on his side you're on the side of our protagonist uh Lori strode and allison because he eventually starts to develop a relationship with allison those two it's a very unhealthy relationship i would say only off of the premise that allison is the one who would say is pushing for it the most because she wants so heavily i feel like while watching to understand michael myers more than anything and because she might see some sort of aspects of michael in corey she wants to understand that given that he, Corey himself has done something terrible and heinous like how Michael Myers did so she wants to kind of understand the pain she feels about the trauma she's now experienced from the 2018 events and she's projecting that on developing this relationship with Corey something that makes her at least feel safe and makes her happy in some ineffective coping mechanism I would say that she has because she's going after Corey when she really shouldn't be to deal with her trauma so what happens is Corey ultimately decides that he's gonna get out of town but he's not going to go without allison it becomes this thing where he starts to target anything in town that would keep her bound to haddonfield so he takes out her her boss dr mathis because we learned she's a nurse takes out her co-worker who is having an affair with dr Math mathis kind of like a sugar daddy thing i think was going on between them uh she's the one who got killed and pinned to the bulletin board and then he also tries to target anyone who was like bad mouthing him in town so the kids who were bullying him uh and then willie the kid the dj and he's then tries to target Lori. anything that might be keeping allison in town to make her further say yeah i can get out of here he goes after them because he wants to run off out of haddonfield and get away from these terrible people and take allison with him however it's how he goes about it that's really just probably going to be the most baffling thing to people uh the way michael myers is portrayed in this movie is very underwhelming and again i stated this in my spoiler free review he's not very intimidating uh when you go out of your way to portray the main villain of your story even though in this case michael isn't even the main villain which i guess you could also say is going to be an issue for some people when when he is on screen he's portrayed as this incompetent well not incompetent but outdated frail old man just living in the sewers with his mask still on and there's certain things about the character i think we just should not see we know he's getting up there in age we don't need to see this but it's also exacerbated by an interaction or interactions that he has with Corey, because Corey is not scared of this man whatsoever at one point during the movie after they do a do a couple tag team kills Corey decides to go to the sewers where michael is at and he has like a tussle with the with the man over his mask a, a literal tussle is on your screen that that's what i was getting at in my spoiler free review so they have the audacity to show michael myers tussling around with this kid for his mask but they won't show you some of the kills a lot of the kills are off screen this is also what prompts michael to go after Lori. not even go after Lori because he's not going after Lori. he comes back because Corey again went into those sewers and stole the man's mask Corey dons the mask he has his own jumpsuit already because he works at a junkyard so he has his own jumpsuit Corey goes after his own mother who was giving him problems he goes after again those bullies that were giving him problems and then he goes after the uh individuals that are connected to allison that might be keeping her in town to give her a reason to say hey yeah i can get out of here because there's no one else left for me because people are dying around me so when it comes to what what happens with michael michael ends up sitting up 
because Corey decided to take his mask and don it and become a, a copycat Michael Myers. He starts wandering around town, I'm assuming, looking for Corey. This ultimately leads to the final sequence of Laurie Strode and Michael Myers battling because Laurie pretends like she's going to commit suicide, but what she ultimately is doing, I guess, setting some type of trap for Corey. Corey ends up walking in on her with the gun. There's a gunshot. You think she shot herself, but she actually just shot a pumpkin. Corey opens the door. You see this in the trailer. She shoots him. He falls over the rails of the upstairs area. She go downstairs. She goes downstairs, tells him to kill her because that's what he came here to do. He ultimately decides to slit his throat because he's like, if I can't have Allison, then no one can. But I mean, you just killed, you just tried to kill yourself. I say try because he doesn't, he's so ineffective at what he just tried to do. He didn't even kill himself. He, did, he couldn't kill Lori and he couldn't kill himself. Michael is the one who ultimately kills him because Allison ends up walking in, catching her with the knife. And she thinks Lori killed Corey, but of course she didn't. Then Michael wanders in looking for his mask, picks it up, hears a noise, goes in the kitchen, and that's when the fight ensues. It's a very satisfying fight, but again, that is how these two end up meeting again. There is no conflict. They just fight for the sake of fighting because he was looking for his mask. It all comes back to Corey. It's just a pure coincidence battle. What happens is Lori ends up pinning him to like the table in the kitchen with a bunch of knives, throwing the fridge down on him. Allison eventually returns back after getting a call from Hawkins. She breaks Michael's arm. Lori then slits his throat. Then they carry him to the throughout the town of Haddonfield on the top of their car and they throw him in a wood chipper and Michael Myers is dead. That is Michael Myers' fate in Halloween Ends. He ultimately dies because he went out of the sewers to go find his mask and by finding his mask, he ends up in his final battle with Lori Strode and that gets him killed. Now again, a lot of people might be disappointed by this because I've already told you in some of my videos that they were going to be really hammered by false advertisement the fight scene is maybe two to three minutes of the movie two to three minutes max it's the fallout after that's very engaging honestly and very compelling to see um there are some cameos you see julian back in the movie but that is michael myers fate he gets thrown in the wood chipper and he's dead um laura strode is the one who survives and everything prior is why that ends up happening let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video